Hello everybody, what is going on? It is Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn and today I've got a super fun tutorial that has been very highly requested and that is printable iron-on. What exactly is printable iron-on? Uh, which brand is the best? How exactly do you use it? Well guys, we're gonna answer all of those hard-hitting questions today as we compare four different very well-known brands of printable iron-on to find out which one is the best. The four brands that we're gonna be comparing today are the Avery brand, the Silhouette brand, New Fun brand, and Printworks brand. And we're not only comparing which one of these is best today, we're comparing which one is the most economical when it comes to pricing. We're gonna compare on uh, two different types of shirts today for each of these where we can see the ones that are just supposed to be used for uh, dark colors, what happens when they're on light colors. Well, we're going to see which one is best when it comes to uh, giving us clear and full instructions and which ones uh, require pre-washing, which ones come with uh, its own transfer sheet to be used, things like that. Because every iron-on, uh, every printable iron-on brand is completely different, we wanted to break down today and show you four well-known brands and how they're different and how they're similar. And ultimately, we want to see which one is the best out of them all. And since we have four different brands here and we also have four different shirts, we wanted to keep everything pretty even. And so we decided that we were going to test uh, two against two and then ultimately see which one is best. So on two of the t-shirts that we have, that are one is cotton, all cotton, 100% cotton, and the other one is a cotton poly blend. On the first set of shirts, we're gonna be testing Avery versus Printworks. And on the other set of shirts, we're gonna be testing Silhouette versus New Fun. I've heard uh, a lot of good things about uh, all of these brands, so we're gonna get into really what they all have to say. Okay, first let's talk about Silhouette. Now, Silhouette, this brand uh, of printable iron-on is used for dark colors only, okay? It does not recommend using them on dark and light, but we have two um, brands today that are just fine for using both uh, dark and light. You can use it on both fabrics, so that is great, but Silhouette only um, tells us that we should use it on dark colors. There is an overlay sheet included, which is great. Now, the price is a little bit steep. This stuff for five sheets is 12 bucks. So I don't think that that's a very good price, but it might outlast all the rest of the brands as far as uh, wearability on the t-shirt and things like that. So we will have to see um, what happens through the day. But this also does not have any real clear washing instructions and the instructions on how to use it are very, very short. So I don't know if you are like me, but I really like a lot of instructions, some clear uh, steps to follow and things like that, and Silhouette just doesn't have that. Okay, now on to New Fun. Now this guy here is for dark and light colors, which is great. It means you can uh, use it no matter uh, which type of t-shirt you have. It does have an overlay sheet included in this, which is great. And this brand also instructs you to pre-wash your shirts. Uh, some of the brands do not specify to pre-wash your shirts, so I think that it is interesting that this one uh, does recommend pre-washing your shirts. And the price for this, guys, is super economical, if you ask me. You get 25 sheets of this stuff for 16 bucks. So if you're in the business of t-shirt making or you enjoy making a lot of t-shirts for your friends and family, for get-togethers, ball games, and things like that, this is definitely a lot of bang for your buck as far as what you get versus the cost. And also, there are some clear washing instructions on this guy. It does specify a time to wash and uh, how to wash it and things like that. So we love seeing good clear instructions on how to use this stuff and how to wash. Okay guys, on to Avery. Now this, uh, this brand here uh, says that it is for dark colors only, so it does not recommend going on any kind of light uh, color t-shirt that you have. There is overlay sheets included with this one. This is the only brand that we have today that includes not one but five overlay sheets, which is really nice if you think about it. You could lose those things or rip them or anything like that. So I do love that this brand takes the extra time to give you four extra um, overlay sheets than the other brands do. And it is not instructed to pre-wash your shirts. It says nothing about pre-washing 
or doing anything special to your shirts before you begin your iron on process. So again, that's just really interesting how all of the brands have different uh, different things they say in different types of instructions. So uh, that one does not say to pre-wash. And also the price for this, I mean, it's okay. For only five sheets of this stuff, it's five, uh, 550. Uh, so I mean, it's you know like a little over a dollar uh, per sheet, and if that's what you wanna pay, that is totally fine. But again, the most bang for your buck, I would have to say, is uh, the new fund that has 25 sheets in it for just 16 bucks. So I think that is, that's a pretty good deal. And this thing also, uh, this brand Avery, excuse me, Avery also has very clear washing instructions, which is really good. We love clear instructions here. So Avery is gonna be a pretty good competitor. Okay guys, last but not least is print work. So this guy is for dark and light colors both. So it does not matter if you have a dark t-shirt or a light t-shirt, you can use it with this brand, which is super, super nice. It does come with an overlay sheet. It is not instructed to pre-wash shirts. Again, um, I, don't, I don't really know why some brands say pre-wash, some brands don't, especially if you're using 100% cotton on your t-shirts. But again, some uh, just give more clear instructions than the other. But as far as instructions do go and how to wash this and things like that, after you've um, ironed on your material, it does have very clear instructions, which we do like. And the price for this guy, it's a little bit worse than the Avery brand. It's a little bit more expensive. For five sheets, you get it for $6.25. So it's not that bad. And again, I don't want to start judging price uh, versus quantity yet because uh, you might have to pay more to get better quality. And I would choose quality over quantity for things like t-shirts that I'll be wearing um, every day or something like that. So we'll just have to see how these guys hold up. Okay guys, now we're gonna take this set by set since we are going to be pinning these brands against each other um, in sets of two. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Printworks and the Avery, and we're gonna let them go head to head. Now I did go through a very long process of um, research depending on if the, the shirts for each brand should be pre-washed, should be not pre-washed, um, if one should have an iron and one should have an easy press. And I read the instructions very, very carefully. and here's my thinking about it if the instructions were vague we're going to go ahead and use an iron if the instructions were pretty specific we're going to use the easy press so i wanted to kind of reward the brands that gave us more uh more instructions because if you do not have an easy press or the instructions aren't very clear on uh, what type of iron to use you might just end up using your household iron so we're just going to go with that and see exactly how it turns out now, first things first, before we can even get uh, to ironing on our t-shirts, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these printed and then cut. So we have already printed these out and we have um, we have just picked this pretty little floral pattern from makersgonnalearn.com. It is a wonderful die cutting membership. If you do not know what it is, but you have a die cutting machine, you guys are missing out. Whether you have a Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore Air, Explore Air 2, a Silhouette Cameo, or Brother Scanning Cut, no matter what type of um, machine that you have, as long as it works with SVG and PNG like these, you guys will have a ton of fun. We have over 750 cut files, a ton of these awesome PNG print and cut files, as well as over 80 fonts for our yearly members. And more die cutting files are added monthly and more fonts are added quarterly. So you all do not want to miss out on that, plus some awesome bonus e-courses, some awesome Facebook, um, a Facebook group, uh, some live streams almost daily here on the YouTube channel. You guys have a lot of crafty fun to be go catching up on if you are not already a member. But anyways, we have this awesome um, print and cut file from our brand new spring collection for 2019 and uh, or Easter collection, excuse me. It, there's a lot of springy files in there like these, but it is titled an Easter collection. So we have just taken this, we've sized it to six inches and um, we have printed them out, printed them both out. We have the uh, names on the back just so we do not get them confused. This one's Printworks, this one's Avery. And immediately, I don't know if you guys can tell, Avery is a lot brighter. I don't know what that's about, but I like it. You know, it's really, really neat. Now I do have to say, I have worked with some iron on, uh, printable iron on before, and the color gets a lot more vibrant 
after you iron it on. I'm not sure how that happens. I guess the heat activates something in the ink. I don't know guys, but I do know that this to not even be ironed on yet is very vibrant. And all of these were printed in the exact same printer guys. So there's no issue there. I really wanted to make these steps very clear for you all and make all of the uh, competition very even. So I tried to keep as many elements the same as I possibly could. So now that we have these printed, we're just going to one by one take them and place them onto our um, standard grip mat. And we're just going to lay them down here. They should stick beautifully like this one does. And then we're just going to load it all in here. And for this one, I have selected printable iron-on dark. Now, I'm just letting you know, since we do have two brands that do not specify uh, whether they're supposed to be used for dark or light iron-on, um, I'm just going to go ahead and make all of the cut settings for dark, um, for printable iron-on dark. I just want to keep everything the same. And as far as I have seen and used with printable iron-on, there's not a huge difference between the setting of light and dark. So I'm just going to keep all the settings dark to keep everything as, um, as coherent as I possibly can. So after this is all in here and loaded up and you've got your settings here, uh, we're just going to go ahead and press that, press that flashing cricket button and wait for it to cut. And now that the action is complete, we're just going to unload our mat and see how it cut. And it looks like it cut pretty well. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to get our Cricut True Control knife. We're going to chop off some of this excess vinyl so it's a little easier for us to weed. And let's see how easily it weeds. That is really easy. Okay, that's great. Look how simple that was to weed. And we can just toss that and then toss this extra. Sadly, I have still not found a good use for any of this uh, extra um, vinyl. So we're just gonna have to, um, to toss it sadly. So that will go. But this is our beautiful, beautiful finished um, finished one and this looks great it really really looks great so what we're just going to do is we're going to flip it over and slowly but surely peel it up from the mat like this just so we don't um, hurt it oh no this backing is weird it's like it's in parts I mean I noticed it but I didn't think a lot of it this is the Avery as you can see the uh the brand here just trying to very slowly and without damaging, without damaging, oh my goodness here. As you can see, it hasn't really damaged anything, but it just, it's so odd how it came up. And the back is shaped like this. I am not sure why. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's shaped like this. It's almost as if you're supposed to peel it up like that, which I guess I understand, but that could have definitely harmed our our little design we have back here. I mean, this is not, this is a delicate design, you know, and these little flowers, it's not coming off the easiest. Okay, so we got another one down. So this is our design here that we've got. We're just gonna peel this. Yeah, that's super odd. So here, this one is, this is the Avery brand. This one is super bright and really, really pretty. So we're just going to lay this off to the side and discard all of this, uh, this trash. Then we're going to apply our print works design up here. And you want to make sure it's in the exact same spot that your other one was. And once it's adhered here, we're just going to go and load it into the machine. And while our Cricut senses and cuts um, our printable iron on out, we are going to talk shirts. Okay, guys. So I've got two shirts here. Uh, this black one here is a Kali Potton blend and this white one is 100% cotton. And these two brands that we're working with today did not specify, specify to pre-wash the shirts. So we did not pre-wash the shirts. We're not going to do that. So we're just going to use them uh, as they are. And the Avery brand that we are using today 
actually has more instructions than the Printworks brand. So for the Avery brand, we're going to be using the Easy Press. And for the Printworks brand, we're going to be using a household iron on the uh, cotton setting with no steam. You don't want any steam in that iron if you're doing print and cut uh, iron on projects. So just make sure it's on the cotton setting. I've, ran I've rinsed all the water out of there. It's dry, I promise. So we're going to be using that one for Printworks and our Easy Press for Avery. And our Printworks vinyl is done cutting, so we're just going to unload this and see how it cuts. Okay guys, so I just unloaded this from our Cricut and I'm seeing some spots where it's already peeled up. I don't know if you can see this, where it did not cut correctly. And again guys, this is on the exact same setting. It senses it every time uh, so that it cuts in the correct spot. But for some reason, this uh, printable iron-on seems very, very flimsy. And just to be sure, just to keep everything fair, I did put a new blade in the Cricut, so it's supposed to cut everything correctly. And this, uh, this did not cut very well, but we're not gonna judge it too, too soon, so we're just gonna do exactly what we did the last time. Take our True Control knife and cut off the excess and weed it up and see how it, see how it goes. This definitely feels a lot thinner than the other brand. This Printworks does feel thinner and it, uh, it feels flimsier. I don't like that word flimsy, guys, but it does. It, I don't want to say it feels cheaper because maybe thin is how you, you know, how you want it to be, but it does feel like it just didn't, like it's not supposed to be used with the maker, if that makes sense, because uh, not even 10 minutes ago, it did cut the other design beautifully for uh, the Avery brand, as you can see here. And this design, I mean, it's, it's peeling up, it's falling off, it's very flimsy. To be honest, I'm quite scared to peel this up off the backing, but that's what we're here to do, guys. That's what I'm here to do, is to uh, see what the best brand of printable iron-on is for you all. So I'm gonna peel this up off of the mat. I do find that this is a bit easier. So I'm gonna peel this up and then I'm gonna slowly but surely peel it off of the backing. This is tough, guys. This is very, very tough to do. Just slowly gonna peel it up from the backing. And of course, it's definitely the cut file I chose too because I didn't want to choose a cut file that was too simple or easy press chirping at us. I, I wanted to pick a cut file that had some uh, texture in it that had some different colors and and pretty leaves and things like that so that we could be challenged with this and uh, getting to choose between them so I do definitely think that it is a challenge uh, but this feels guys so much different than this other one this is the Printworks brand right here and let me get the Avery brand for you all so Printworks versus Avery here they are uh, you can see Printworks or excuse me Avery over here in my right hand is a little more vibrant and it is a little bit uh, a little bit heftier, I would say, a little bit more well-made compared to this one, but we're just gonna keep uh, trucking along in the tutorial and letting you know how it goes. Okay guys, now that you have all of your printable iron-on cut and weeded, we're gonna get to ironing. Now we have already uh, read all the instructions for this and we have two brands today, which is Avery and Printworks and we are going to be competing these against each other, so we needed two designs, uh, print and cut, from each uh, brand. So we've already done that, so we have four designs total. We're gonna put one of each brand uh, designs on each shirt, so that everything can be fair and everything can be even. So we're gonna start with Avery here, and we're just gonna lay one of our uh, printed designs here on the T-shirt. And as you might have guessed, maybe not, this one was intended for just dark colors only. Avery does say that they want uh, dark colors only for uh, theirs to be used. So that's what we are uh, doing today. This is gonna go on a dark and a light shirt so that we can really compare and see which brand is best. So we've got that down here and here is this uh, overlay sheet that all the brands include. We're just gonna place it right over that per the instructions. And since we are using the Easy Press for this, um, the instructions for this brand are quite long, actually. Here you can see them. 
there's like a whole page of instructions which I love instructions it talks about needing a good sturdy workspace it talks about how long you need to iron it on and to use the sheet so this I would say is about uh, it's a little over a fourth a little under a half a sheet and for a fourth of a sheet it says to heat for um, 40 seconds and for a half a sheet it says for one minute so one fourth a sheet is 40 seconds one half a sheet is one minute so I think we're just gonna meet in the middle since this is a little over half a sheet or a fourth a sheet excuse me we're gonna do it for uh, 45 to 50 seconds and see how that goes now uh, because I'm using my easy press for this brand I am going to turn it on uh, 300 degrees and I'm gonna set my timer up it just dinged that it is heated I'm gonna set my timer up though to uh, 45 seconds and we will see how that goes so that is set to 45 seconds we have placed the overlay sheet on exactly how it says to and we have covered it with the um, with this paper here and I just want to mention all of the brands do say to use a uh, pillowcase or a terry cloth towel under it but as you can see we are using our uh, large 16 by 20 easy press mat which I honestly think will give us more success with these projects than a normal terry cloth towel or a pillowcase would if we were ironing on that but for the sake of this we're just going to iron all of the brands on all the shirts on our wonderful easy press mat so that's what we're going to do so here's this so we're going to lay our easy press down press that uh, cricket button and we're just going to give firm pressure it does say to apply pressure um, from left to right and top to bottom so we're just going to be applying pressure as we go here uh, like we do with any iron on project we just love to apply that good even distributed pressure until that timer clocks down on us now it does say that after um, we iron this to wait and let this cool for two to three full minutes which is kind of crazy you don't see that as an instruction a lot but that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wait two to three minutes while we iron on the uh, second brand print works and see how it goes so our easy press is done so I'm just gonna remove our easy press and slide the whole shirt down so that we have our um, other controlled area here where we are going to apply our print works design so we applied it just like we did the other one and we're going to use the sheet that came with it and this is much like the other sheet there's not a whole lot of difference in them at all and these uh, these instructions as you might guess are also very long these ones for the print works are actually two pages long but that's very good we love a ton of instructions so this one says that we're going to heat for um, 45 seconds to one minute so we're going to go ahead we've got our iron it has been preheating for a while this says to make sure it's preheated for at least five minutes and again you want this on the highest cotton setting no steam or anything like that so that is what we're going to do here today we have got uh, this on and it is very hot so that is good so we're just going to follow the instructions and we've laid our um, transfer sheet over this is what i like, just like to call it um, so we're just going to go ahead and with firm pressure with our iron we're just going to iron this guy on and it sounds nuts i'm actually going to start the uh, easy press timer just so it's a quick timer for me so i know i'm not going to uh, go over my time and burn this little guy so we're just going to give pressure move this around make sure we're getting everything and one of the downsides of using an iron as you probably know is that it does not have the even distributed heat that the wonderful easy press has and why we're using the easy press mat today is because i did not want to use a terry cloth towel or anything like that because again my uh easy press mat is designed for iron on success so I figured we might uh, as well eliminate another factor that could possibly hurt our project and that timer is up so I'm just going to lift my iron up and let this guy cool and we're going to move back down here and oh wow it's already curled up on us here as you can see I'll flatten it down and it just curls back up we go a little wider for you guys but here you can see it just wants to curl back up so we're just going to kind of take this off 
And as you can see, this did a very, very good job, guys. All the detail is here. There is a ton of uh, beautiful greenery that we see. It doesn't feel like any of the edges are coming up at all. It looks like it is very well adhered down, which I am loving. And this, this is this is a great. This is a beautiful brand. I really, really like this this brand. It did fantastic. Now we will see if um, Printworks can compete with Avery. So he's definitely had some time to cool now. And again, it looks like our transfer paper just wants to slide up on us. Uh, so all we're going to do is slowly peel this back to reveal. And oh my. Now I will say it is stuck on here. It most definitely is stuck here. But guys, I have to widen this out so you guys can see the difference. Let me scoot these closer together so you guys can see this. You guys are not going to believe the difference here. Look at this. I don't know if you can pick this up as well as I'm seeing it, but this one adhered so much better and it was, I mean, it looks flawless. The color is really good even with being on a uh, such a dark colored t-shirt, but this one up here, the colors are not vibrant. Uh, I can feel a couple little spots where it's peeling up on me and I, I don't know. It just, it's not, it's not doing as well as I would hoped it's doing, but this one down here, this is Avery and this is Printworks. Printworks has definitely, um, up to this point, lost the battle for me, and Avery has definitely stepped up the game. I'm very impressed with how good this brand looks, and again, uh, let me remind you that Avery is the one that does not um, specify it needs pre-washing. It does say it's for dark colors only. And the price for this one here, again, for five sheets is $5.50. So if, if, the, uh, if the value is there, then I can, I mean, I can see it. I would do quality over quantity, especially with a difference like this. I really hope that you guys can see the difference here. Let me bring you all in here and hope that you can see a little bit better. But here is big, vibrant colors, and then you move up here, and the colors are just dull and dark and kind of gloomy. But then, of course, we go down here to Avery, and it looks beautiful. So Avery is definitely our winner in this round. So guys, isn't that crazy? I mean, I had no idea of the difference, and you might not be able to tell it that much uh, just looking in the camera. But guys, if you were here with me, it is not in day the difference here. Um, Printworks did not do as well as Avery um, on the dark colored fabric. So let's see how uh, both brands are doing with the light color fabric. Okay, guys, we are back with our 100% cotton white shirt. We're still competing uh, between Avery and Printworks here. And Avery definitely won the bl uh, dark colored um, fabric round. So we're going to see how they do with this light color fabric. And just to get everything nice and smooth, I have went ahead and um, ironed our t-shirt just to get all the wrinkles out and everything. So we're just going to go through the same process we did with the dark color t-shirt and see how it uh, ends up. It all looks super white, I know guys, but we're just going to go back ahead in here and we're going to start again with Avery. And Avery is going to be going on the bottom here. So we're going to put this on the bottom of our little shirt here. I'm just gonna try to make sure everything is things where it should be. And scoot it up just a little bit here. And we're using the same transfer sheet that it says to use. And we're gonna use the Easy Press again on Avery. And we're gonna be using the iron on uh, Printworks here. So Avery again says it's for dark colors only. So we will see how it works. Now Printworks does say it's for dark and light colors only, and Printworks did not do very well on the dark color, so maybe Printworks will do better on this light color uh, because it does say it's for both. But Avery says it is just for dark colors, so I'm very curious to see how it holds up on this light color. So we're just going to go in here with our Easy Press, just like we did before. On 300, we're going to Give it 45 seconds and we're just going to move the easy press around. We're just going to move it all around and get everything nice and heated up, giving firm pressure just like it says. And again, we are not pre-washing these t-shirts. On the next round with New Fun and Silhouette, those t-shirts will be pre-washed. 
but we will just have to see um, we will just have to see the difference between pre-washing and not uh, pre-washing because I just thought it was so odd that some brands said to pre-wash and some did not. So we're going to be seeing how that ends up today as well. We're just continuing to give firm pressure as we move this around and heat it completely. And our easy press is done, so we're just going to remove that, slide the whole thing. Look at it already curling up on me, guys. We're going to slide this up and add our print works up here. And we're just going to place it down how we like it. I'm trying to, for some reason, you can't tell in this camera, you could from another angle. But for some reason, all a lot of these uh, little, little edges are trying to curl on me with this brand. So I'm going to very carefully lay down my, my little transfer sheet here and try... Try not to, you know, bend or fold any of those little lines here. I'm just going to go in with my iron. And again, I'm going to press the Cricut timer just so it's all even and we have 45 seconds on each. And they were both, they both had different, a little bit of different time frames here. I mean, I used a little bit over a fourth of a sheet of this stuff. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to make it unfair or anything. So we're just going to, uh, use both times at 45 seconds, which I think is going to be fine. Uh, but so far, so good. They're both sticking really well, which is great. The adhesion is doing really, really well. The only problem with the print works was the color not being near as vibrant as the Avery. And if you do remember, the Avery came out of the printer very vibrant too. So maybe that has something to do with it. And our timer is up, so I'm just going to... Lay that to the side and let that one cool down. And you can see the edges trying to pull in on you here. We're just going to move right back down to our Avery brand. And this, this is still pretty warm. So we're just going to let this cool for a little while longer. And then we'll peel it up. Last time on the dark color fabric, this Avery was not even sticking to this paper. It had curled up basically completely. And all I did was just move the paper. So there is, it is sticking a little bit more here, which is interesting because it didn't do that on the uh, black shirt. And also, guys, the black shirt was a cotton poly blend. This shirt is 100% cotton. So all of this can play a factor into how uh, successful your iron-on project is. So we will definitely be telling you at the end our tips and tricks for if you should use 100% cotton, if you should pre-wash, if you should not pre-wash, you know, if you should use a cotton poly blend shirt, which brand to use. So we're really going to break down for you guys how to get the most successful printable iron-on project. But anyways, guys, now that this has cooled a little bit better, we're just going to slowly peel this up. And guys, it looks just as vibrant as it did on the dark color. I, I honestly can't get over the colors on this. Now, I do have to say down here, it looks like the edges are trying to peel up on me and I, and it's not on this side. So maybe I just didn't adhere it as well. But I know for a fact that this easy press is a lot bigger than the surface area I have here. So I'm not going to repress this because I am confident in my ability to have pressed this and the dark one basically in the same way. So I'm just going to leave this here because we are going to do a little field test as it were. We are going to wash and dry these and it lets you know which one ends up being the best. So definitely stay tuned for that as well. So we're going to move back up here. This was our Avery, and this is our New Fun brand, or excuse me, this is our Printworks brand. New Fun and Silhouette are next. So we're just going to slowly peel this up. Oh, and this looks really good too. This is definitely more for um, lighter fabrics than darker fabrics, and I think it is. Let me check. But these two, they're neck and neck this time. They really, really are neck and neck. But if I'm not mistaken, print works. Um, oh, it says it's for light and dark colors. So it is for light and dark colors. But I, I guys, I've got to say, I would not recommend using New Fun on your dark colors. This one did not look good on that black shirt. But this one looks very, very good on the black and white shirts. Let me grab that black shirt just so you guys can see the difference. But guys, here is the print works 
in the light color uh, fabric and here is the print works in the dark color fabric now I don't know if you guys can see the difference here but I can see a huge difference it's like the just the petals are kind of you know they're just really dark and kind of gloomy and then down here when we go to Avery it's all happy and bright and springy and nobody wants this on a t-shirt so I do have to uh, not recommend using Printworks brand on the uh, dark color fabric, but it looks very, very good on the light color fabric. It looks uh, really just as good as the Avery. Avery might just have a little bit more color to it, but I really cannot tell a difference at all. That was super cool. What do you guys think so far? I think that my favorite so far is definitely Avery. I know we've only tested two so far, but for some reason, Printworks does advertise that it, you can use it with both dark and light color fabrics. However, I would not recommend using it on dark color fabrics. And I do want you guys to get the best bang for your buck. So I really want to recommend a brand that you can use for both light and dark that both look great. And in that way, I do have to say Avery is our winner for this round. And now we will move on to Silhouette versus New Fun. Okay guys, now we are moving on here to our two last competitors here, which is the Silhouette brand and the New Fun brand. And as far as pricing goes, the New Fun brand, you get a ton of sheets for not a lot of money and you only get five sheets with the Silhouette brand. But again, we're not gonna judge on quantity right now, but there are some differences in uh, the last round and this round. So in this round, Silhouette is going to be using the iron because they have way less instructions on how to exactly heat their uh, product. So we're going to give them the iron today. Now both the iron and the Easy Press did really well in the last round. So I, I'm, you know, I don't really feel like that's going to play into a factor of how good this iron on is. And then new fun, we are going to be using our handy dandy Easy Press. So also, both of these uh, brands recommend to pre-wash their shirts. So we have done that. We have a pre-washed 100% cotton dark shirt and a pre-washed uh, po cotton poly blend white shirt. Now that is reversed from the last round. With the Avery versus Printworks, we did have a white cotton shirt and a black poly cotton blend. So this time it's reversed with the black cotton and the white poly cotton blend. After that mouthful, it's just to say these were pre-washed, those were not. And we're just flipping the table on the colors and the blends today so that we can really get a wide variety of how the different fabrics do with the different brands of iron-on. So we've already printed these out. Again, we've printed two of each brand just like before so that we can do a test on both of these. So we're just going to start with the Silhouette brand and let the Cricut cut and we'll see how they do. So first all I'm going to do is take a piece of our printed uh, iron on. And we're just gonna load it into our machine. And then we're gonna press that flashing cricket button. So the action is complete. Now let's see how the silhouette cut. And it looks pretty good other than uh, one or two spots like over here next to this uh, lavender, I think it is. It might not be lavender, but that's just what I'm gonna call it. Next to this little purple flower here is the only place it looks like it did not cut as well as it could have we're just going to go in with our knife just like all the other times we're going to keep this all the same guys and we're going to weed this and we're going to see how it weeds as well and it's weeding very well yeah oh see i pulled up some of that little purple lavender stuff i don't know why it's not wanting me to to get the lavender but anyways i mean other than that it's weeding really really well There, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So now we're just gonna peel it up. And you guys know I like to turn my, turn my little guy over. And there you can see I've barely and terribly wrote silhouette just so I do not get any of these confused. Um, sorry about my scribbly handwriting while, I'm, uh, while I am uh, rushing, but we're just gonna take this off the backing. It feels pretty sturdy. It feels pretty good, I have to say. We're gonna start, so if you see the backing start to peel off on you with the, uh, with the leaf, I just like to go from the other side and try, and try and get in there from a different angle. And it doesn't look like it cut through the backing at all, which is good. So we're just gonna go in here slowly and peel it up as we would. It's 
looking pretty good, guys. It's looking pretty good. It's coming up. And again, I know the design I chose was a bit uh, a bit risky, if I should say that, you know, because it does have a lot of little moving parts and parts that uh, get stuck easily and little, you know, little flowers that are pretty delicate and things like that. But I really wanted to put this to the test. So this cut pretty well. This is the Silhouette brand. Okay, and guys, I just want to say I was just weeding the second one of the Silhouette just because, you know, I didn't want to have to weed them both and cut them both on camera for you guys. But this cut totally different. And it was the same Cricut, same blade, same setting, same brand. Uh, but it is, it is cutting wild. Like here's the back. When I pull it up, I mean, look at that. Like what in the world? I don't know why it's cutting like this. So we're just going to try and be extra careful here with this one. And uh, we're just going to peel it up carefully. We did, I mean, we did default pressure and everything. It's just kind of crazy how different this sheet cut compared to the last sheet. Um, so we're just going to go with it, you know. And even if some of it falls off or some of it uh, gets damaged, we're just going to go with it and uh, still uh, judge how the printable uh, iron-on does. And it does look like we lost these two flowers here. I'm going to try and save them, though. I've got one here. But I just wanted to tell you guys that because I thought that was super interesting, too, is that it cut so differently. This is the first time that we've had it like cut through here, as you can see. That's just kind of crazy. But same, uh, same Cricut, same blade, same setting, same pressure, same mat, I mean, same material, same everything. So that's just kind of odd. Okay, guys, now we're going to cut the new fun brand. And um, I don't know why that the Silhouette brand did that the second time. So we're going to see how this cuts. I just checked the blade. There was nothing in the blade that could have cut it like that. It was all in the same settings. That's just kind of really weird. It's the only time it's done that today. So I'm wondering if it's the brand or something like that. But we're just going to load our new fun brand in here and cut it as usual as we have all the other brands. Now the action is complete, so we're going to unload our mat and see how the new fun brand cut. And here we are, and this is the first cut of our new fun brand. And again, I don't know what it is about these little purple flowers. And for some reason, I, I don't know, I'm seeing a little bit being peeling up on this one as well, like last time. But it does not happen with all the brands, as uh, we recall here. So I don't really know why that happens. You know, it's kind of like you know, just a weird thing. So we're just going to um, take a weeding tool and start weeding here. We're just going to be very careful. We don't want to weed too fast, especially if things are not getting cut like this right here. Can you all see that? We're just going to go with this away now then just to try and avoid those areas. Yeah, it's not cut right there. I had to, uh-oh, see? That's so odd. Easy. Okay. Okay, this is looking okay. This, for some reason, this little purple flower here has a hard time. This blue flower's wanting to stick. This plant's wanting to stick. This one. So, okay, I have to say, this brand has been the trickiest to weed. The silhouette was the trickiest to cut. I don't even know why it cut so hard and so deep. It was on the same pressure as everything else. So we're going to flip this over as always. And look, it has not cut through. It is, that's a great, great cut. So we're just going to start on a little corner as we always do. I like to start over here at these flowers. And I think guys, I like to start over here because over here is more like little leafy greenery than on this side. And if you can get past this, then instead of, instead of having to pull those up one by one, you're really just seamlessly pulling those down, as you can see. So we're just going to help, help these little guys along wherever they need it. And there is uh, the new fun brand. Now, it was, again, a booger to weed, but it cut all right. I, I, well, I guess the problem with weeding is the cutting. But the one that cut the worst was definitely the Silhouette brand because even on all the same settings, guys, and Silhouette brand it says it's only for dark colored iron on it. So we set it 
um, as we did all of these four dark um, patterned, or excuse me, dark printable iron on, not patterned, but a lot of P words I'm going through my head today. But um, it's still for some reason cut kind of odd, and this one was hard to weed because um, it didn't want to cut like, it's like the silhouette cut too much and new fun didn't cut enough. Does that make sense? I think that's the best way to describe the difference between these two brands. Okay guys, again we have two uh, images from both brands cut so that we can do a test on both shirts. So we're going to start with the light shirt here, which is a, a cotton poly blend. And I do have to say again that uh, this Silhouette brand says it is recommended for only dark fabrics and the new fun brand says it can be used with both. Now again, the uh, Silhouette brand has little to no instructions on exactly how to apply down and adhere this iron on so we're going to use an iron for silhouette and we're going to use a um our easy press for a uh, new fun now the time differences are insane with these two products with these two brands so new fun says to heat it for uh, 40 30 to 40 seconds uh, with your easy press or you know your iron on a cotton setting things like that and the Silhouette brand says two minutes on the cotton setting, the hottest cotton setting that your iron has. So I have got my phone here and set a timer for two minutes so that when we do that one, we will not um, go over time or under time because again, I really want this to be a fair comparison of these. So let's jump into our Silhouette brand. Okay, here is our Cotton Poly Blend shirt. And again, I have just ironed this to, um, to allow us, you know, all those, all those wrinkles to get out of there. So we're just going to apply this down. It doesn't say anything about preheating or anything like that. So again, we're going to take our little sheet that comes with it and we're just going to lay it down over it. But now that we have this place, let me show you all the instructions for the Silhouette brand. And I do have to say it's kind of ridiculous. This is all you get um, instruction wise. And I have to have to say, Seven through 10 are the only ones that have anything to do with adhering this. All the rest of, of them are just for silhouette users and like to make their lives easier, I guess I should say, I don't know. But me with the Cricut who buys this product because it is printable um, iron-on and since Cricut quit selling printable iron-on, uh, Cricut users could very well buy this brand and want to know how to use it as well, but it does not show that. The only, um, points it shows on how to actually use this is seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're just going to follow, we're going to follow that tutorial. And again, we're going to use the iron for this for two minutes. So I'm going to have my phone right here and the, the timer is for two minutes. So I'm going to get my iron here, lay it down, and then I'm going to hit start. So there's my two minute timer. It's counting down for me right here. So we're just going to heat this up just like we would the other design, again, I'm going to give some pressure. It didn't specify pressure like it really didn't specify anything else, but I'm going to go ahead and give it some pressure and I'm going to move it around and make sure I get it all evenly, um, evenly distributed that heat as I can, as best I can. Because again, the iron is not built to uh, have such even distributed heat as the Easy Press does. So I'm just going to... Um, iron this on here and I am a little bit surprised at how well the iron has done and that could be because we're using two very basic blends of t-shirts and it also could be because this poor bad boy has been preheating for at least an hour so it is piping hot but whatever you know whatever it may be uh, the iron has not given me any trouble today it has worked just fine on um, both of the projects on all the Iron on it has tackled today, and our easy press is beeping at us. Uh, but we're just keep moving it around. It still has 45 seconds, guys. We still have 45 seconds to go. So I'm just giving it more pressure. I'm gonna switch hands because my hands are getting tired. Giving it good pressure here. Trying to, and it's kind of odd because you don't know where the pressure's at in an iron, or excuse me, the heat. You don't know exactly where all the heat's at. Whereas when you use an easy press, you can easily just heat the whole thing and know that it's all going to be heated with the same heat and in the same spots. But with the iron, you're not really sure where exactly the heat is at. So I'm really going to try and move this all around 
from like the tip to the bottom and things like that. And guys, we only have 10 seconds left. We're almost done. I'm just gonna keep giving this guy pressure. Keep giving it pressure and the timer is done. Here we go. So I'm gonna hit uh, cancel right there. And I'm gonna oh, uh, lift my iron up. And again, they want some time to cool. So I'm just gonna leave this guy to cool. We're gonna move up and we're gonna work with our new fun brand. So this one is going up here. And this one, let me read the instructions, but I'm almost positive it's like 20 to 40 seconds, something like that. Yes, steady, firm pressure for 20 seconds. So this is the lowest amount of time that we have had to heat uh, one of these. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it, guys. So it does come again with its own nifty little transfer sheet here. We're gonna apply it down just like we did before, and I'm gonna uh, come over here and set my timer down from 45 seconds all the way down to 20 because we we want to do this right guys so we're going to go down to 20 seconds and it's still on the same heat setting which is fine and now here is the instructions for this one this has a pretty good amount of instructions uh you know i like the i like that it's simple and it's easy to follow it's uh, it even has items you'll need and then step one is printing and step two is transferring and then it has some great tips on how to wash it like wash inside out with cold water, use a mild detergent. I mean, I really like that this brand gives you all the info that you need to be successful, which I really appreciate. So we're just gonna go in here with our easy press. We're gonna hit that timer, and then I'm just gonna give it some good pressure and move it around a little bit. But this so far, guys, it's going, it's going pretty well. So I'm, I'm excited to see how this turns out. And again, this new fun brand says that it is for both dark and light colors. Oh, wow, looky there. Transfer sheet just kind of went bye-bye on us, guys. Look at that. It just won't even stay. Okay, then. I'll take it off. But this one is for uh, dark and light colors, but uh, Silhouette brand is supposed to be only used on dark colors. So we will be doing that test later but it doesn't look like any of the corners are coming up on me. It's still a little bit warm, which is to be expected, but it looks really good. The colors are vibrant. Um, it looks like it's adhered really well. So let's move on down to our silhouette and we're just gonna slowly peel it up. And it looks basically the same. I'm not seeing a big, big difference here. It, it looks a lot, you know, looks a lot the same. And I just realized I did put these on uh, two different directions, so I'm sorry for the confusion on that. But uh, they look the same. I'm looking for uh, adhesion and color and things like that, and this one adhered well. The color's good. But guys, and I don't want to be too nitpicky here, but let me see if y'all can he hear the difference between this one and this one. You might not be able to pick that up, but this one is like, I don't know. If, if this was on a shirt, it would feel like it was, I don't know. It's like kind of hard. It's a little bit hard, but this one, it's like if I feel through the whole shirt, it doesn't feel very different at all. It just feels smooth and like it's all one texture. But if I come down here and I wipe my hand over this guy, you can clearly feel where this iron on is because it's so, I don't know, it's, it's almost like scratchy, but the color is good. The adhesion is good on both of these. This is a hard test. I, just because both the adhesions are great on both and the color is good on both, I'm gonna have to dock Silhouette just for being, I don't know, this weird scratchy hard material when this one seems to be a lot smoother and silkier and in something I would rather wear than having like, you know, like a hard piece of paper on my chest, you know, if that makes any sense on a t-shirt. So we're gonna move on to the black shirts and see how that goes. Okay guys, we're back and now we have our 100% cotton a black t-shirt. And I will remind you that New Fun says it can be used on both light and dark and Silhouette says it is recommended only for dark colors. So we'll see if there is a big difference with this but we're gonna go ahead and start um, using our uh, silhouette down here with our iron. 
So here we are guys, this is the Silhouette brand and we're just gonna lay the sheet back over it that we had. And again, um, we're gonna use the iron for two minutes like it says. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we have our timer back here for two minutes. I'm gonna press start and then I'm gonna go to ironing away. So it's kind of crazy that both of these can be so similar with such different heat times. And honestly, because I think that this one is very uh, thick and a little bit hard, I guess I should say, maybe it's normal to have uh, this brand have to be ironed on, you know, a lot longer, I guess, because again, it is very hard and dense when it's on this fabric. I don't know if I would want to wear a shirt, uh, like a, you know, a delicate shirt with a, with an iron on material quite like this. But I do have to say that I do, it, I mean, it does adhere very, very well, which is great. I do have to say the color is vibrant. It is not like the print works where on uh, this dark of a shirt, the color just kind of disappeared. It is not like that at all. So we will see how it does um, on the dark test, I guess I should say. And then that will uh, determine the winner here. And we, I guess we'll have to see how they look and, and maybe battle it out and make some pros and cons for which we like best between uh, these two uh, comparisons. So I'm eager to see which one will come out on top or maybe we'll have a tie and you'll just have two brands to choose from, but we will most definitely have to go in and look at all the factors as far as how clear instructions are and if it uh, has a sheet with it and how much it costs and things like that to really pick a winner here, guys. So we only have 10 seconds left, so we're just gonna keep going. Again, I'm not sure exactly how much heat I've distributed all over the place because the iron doesn't have very good dis distributed heat, but we will see. And our timer is done. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel that and we're gonna lift up our iron. And while he's cooling, we're gonna come up here and again, we're gonna work with our new fun. So there it is. It's right here. We've got the easy press set at uh, 20 seconds at 300 degrees. So here we are. Just gonna heat this all over, making sure I'm getting all over the place. I don't wanna miss any areas with this. And that's it. So I'm just gonna lift it up, guys. And while now the top one cools and you can see it curling, look at that. That's crazy. Looky there. While that's curling and cooling, we're gonna move back down here. And this one has curled a lot as well. So we're just gonna go with the curl and slowly peel it up. And this again is the silhouette down here at the bottom. And the color's vibrant, it's stuck really well. But again, guys, I cannot get past how rough it is. I guess I should say it's thick, but I guess it's uh, durable. So I guess we'll see about that, you know, but I don't know, guys. I mean, it, it looks great. It's vibrant, it adhered well. So let's see how New Fun did yet again. And I felt a little pull when I removed that. And this was the easy press too. I felt a little bit of a pull there, but I get it looks like nothing is coming up on us. So that's good. It's staying in place quite well. And I, I do have to say they both look, they both look great on this black. They both, uh, there's not a lot of difference here. They both look good, very vibrant. But again, this Silhouette Brands is just scratchy compared to how smooth and uh, supple this new, um, new fun brand is. I don't know why that is. I don't know guys, they're really similar. And uh, I really like how this new fun adhered and the colors, but the color is very much alike, but I really don't like how this is scratchy. I don't, it's really annoying guys. I mean, if I was wearing it, I don't know. It's, it's kind of annoying. I wish you could feel it along with me and feel the difference here. But also this cut super weird on the machine. All of these had the same Cricut, same blade, same mat, same uh, setting, same pressure setting, and so for some reason it cut through the backing and was really tough to weed and to get 
off of the mat here. And also, I wish I had better instructions. It seems like uh, only Silhouette users can use this because the instructions are like 100% tailored to Silhouette, which I get because it is Silhouette brand. But uh, since Cricut does not sell this brand anymore, again, it would be nice just to have um, a little bit more instructions with this just because uh, maybe it could have been a little more foolproof than it is now, but it is not. And I, I don't know, I'm really leaning towards new fun, but why don't we go and we throw all of these shirts in the washer and dryer and see how they turn out. Okay guys, we are back. We have thrown all of these into the washer and the dryer and we have done all of the proper procedures for them all. Some needed to be washed on cold, some it didn't specify, some said inside out, some said use a certain type of uh, milder detergent. So we did all of that, we washed them, we dried them, and I have to say, not a whole lot happened. I think a lot of the times when people have some problems with their printable iron-on, it is because they do not follow the proper washing instructions. Some of them specified not to wash until 24 hours after applying the iron on to the shirt, which I think is a pretty cool uh, thing to note, you know, just like for some uh, added uh, success there if you wanted to. But I have picked a winner and I will tell you why. Now, the winner of the uh, first competition here between uh, Printworks and Avery, it was hands down Avery. Poor Printworks did not do very well here. And then in the second round between Silhouette and New Fun, New Fun was the winner. Uh, so that one did a little bit better. There was a few things I didn't like about Silhouette. And uh, upon more research, the cost was a little bit steep. It only came with a few transfer sheets. The instructions were not clear and very Silhouette specific, which is okay. But I feel like if you have a printable iron-on uh, brand, then you might should have a little bit of uh, wider instructions maybe for other machines just so they could have some success too and for some reason i did not love how it was thick and scratchy now the color was good but it just kind of turned me off of silhouette but between these two i have got to tell you new fun is the winner now out of all these brands i do have to say this one surprised me but i chose it because uh in these two top dogs here Avery said it should only be used for darks only, while New Fun said it would work for both dark and light colors, and it did. It worked the same. I did not see a single difference between the dark and light colors, so I do like that this one specifies that you can use both. And again, the price with this one as well, you get 25 sheets for $16, and they come with multiple of those little transfer uh, papers there, and the instructions are clear, concise, and simple and easy to follow. And I really think you get a lot of bang for your buck here with the quality of the iron-on and how well it adheres and the vibrancy of the color. And it balances out great with how much you spend on it. I think the 16 bucks for 25 sheets of a pretty good brand of printable iron-on is well, well worth it. So guys, what did you think? I hope that you enjoyed learning all about these different brands of printable iron-on. I was so happy I got them all in the mail and I was able to research and plan and prep and test them all for you guys because I really hate spending so much money on something that I really think will work well and especially something as unknown as printable iron-on. You want to set yourself up for success with every project you make. So I have taken all of the stress and worry out of it for you guys and shown you four different brands of iron-on for dark colors, for light colors that need to be pre-washed, that don't need to be pre-washed, and I hope that you enjoyed the results of this test. Now, if you like certain things about other brands better, please leave me some comments down below and tell me which one is your favorite. Just speaking about overall and how it can be applied onto dark and light fabrics and the cost per sheet and things like that, New Fun is definitely the brand to beat. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you uh, want to learn more about this, we will get it in the description below. We will link this for you guys so that you all can buy it as well. Please give this video a thumbs up. And again, leave us a comment if you have any questions about this or if you want to tell me your favorite brand of printable iron-on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.